Well, in this video, we're going to look at the iterative methods. Um, uh, basically, uh, iterative methods as opposed to direct methods like Gaussian elimination and its variations uh, basically produce a sequence of um, iterates, which we call, which which are the solutions. In fact, uh, a sequence of x k's, which are the solution of approximations to the solution of a x equals b. So um, what we're saying is that a x equals b here is the solution is the uh, is a system we're trying to solve and basically um, xk is an iterate that is trying to approximate uh, x so in theory if uh, if we call x hat the exact solution so if this is the exact solution to ax equals b then we can say that each iterate is an approximation uh, to the true solution therefore we would expect that um, in theory, uh, as k goes to infinity, this would eventually equal the uh, exact solution. So basically, the idea is that we have an iterative solution, and the iterative solution, each iterate is an improvement over the solution, and in theory, infinite number of improvements would lead ideally to the best solution. Because if it doesn't, then of course, the iterative method is failing, in fact. So... Um, in, in a nutshell, that essentially is the idea of uh, uh, the iterative methods. So basically, we have a box you can imagine, and we and basically this box produces um, an x uh, k iterate goes in and out comes the x k plus one iterate. Something is done here inside the box to the kth iterate. And the xk plus 1 comes out and goes back in as an xk and gives you the next one and so on and so on till uh, of course it keeps improving till it converges to a, uh, a solution which means it stops changing essentially so that's what an iterative method is in a quick uh, sort of nutshell